my personal Batman suit whenever I'm finna go fight crime in the hives. People are so afraid of bees, and they've never maybe even had an encounter, but they still have a fear of it. And I thought, how interesting that that is very much the same with someone who has served time. Everywhere I went, I filled out a job application, and no one ever called me back. They see your background, and no one is even giving you a chance or even a second thought. Oh, almost. Butterfingers. <laughs> when I first relocated here to Chicago, I was excited to help address this high unemployment rate. Our goal is to equip people with the skills and the tools that they need to get a job. We saw the hope in people's eyes about, wow, someone cares about us and someone knows that we want to work. And then to not be able to connect them to employment was just not OK. We had to show society that people who have served their time can be great employees. And the only way to do that was for us to consider becoming their first employer and by establishing our own business that was eventually going to include bees. <laughs> See the queen? Wow, hello, sweetheart. Sweet Beginnings has a triple bottom line mission. It's about people, it's about product, and it's about planet. We want to make sure that we are hiring men and women who need second chances. We believe that people can transform their lives. Every jar has a story of the person who helped, you know, put these little jar together. My environment and the way I grew up does not dictate my, my future. It's a blessing, man. They saw something in us. I never thought in a thousand years I'd be beef farming, for real. <laughs> have people that believe in you and have your back and show you that, it gives you peace. It makes you want to do better. I think that it is about rethinking the narrative, and I'm excited about being part of a movement that's about the restoration of individuals who have served time, the restoration of a community, and the restoration, really, of these beautiful honeybees.